All right, guys, so this is the water cooling setup right here. We're water cooling the Raspberry Pi 4, as you can see. This is the new Raspberry Pi 4. And we have the thermal take. That's a pump res combo. We have the cool, cool stream. That's from EK. That's a water block right there. We got all the fittings. We got the Pico power supply. That's what's powering this. I'm going to leave a link to all this in the description. Now, we built this loop uh, for my Raspberry Pi 3 originally. I just never took it apart. So it fits perfectly with the Raspberry Pi 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in the video of me building this loop right now. And we're going to come back and start this loop to see how it runs. Okay, guys, so these are all the parts that are going to go in the build. Let's start off with the top right here. These are the different types of tubing we're going to use. On the left here, this is the smaller tubing. This is the 5 thirds millimeter tubing. And this is the bigger tubing. This is the G and a quarter, uh, 3 eighths inner diameter and 1 quarter outer diameter tubing. Both tubings we're gonna use in this build. This is the Coolstream PE 120 millimeter radiator right here. All right, this is the coolant that's gonna go in the build. This is from Primo Shell. This is the UE Red coolant. Love this color. This is a borrow fitting we're gonna use. We have like four or five of these. This is a G quarter uh, 3 eighths fitting right here. This is for the bigger tubing. Underneath that, we have a bunch of fittings from Alpha Cool. These are G and a quarter 3 eighths fittings as well. But these you can articulate. They move around. It's easier to use on certain situations. Right here, this is from Alpha Cool as well. This is the double sided adhesive tape. I'm gonna show you where this goes in a second. We have some G and a quarter plugs that we're gonna use. This is what's gonna allow us to turn the big tubing into the small tubing. The small tubing is the 5 thirds and the bigger tubing is the 3 eighths. So we, we're gonna be able to take 3 eighths and turn it into uh, 5 thirds and 5 thirds into 3 eighths. We have two of these, have a bunch of the plugs. And right here, this is what's gonna actually allow us to water cool the Raspberry Pi. This is the water block. This is from Alpha Cool. This is the MCX1 Copper Edition. I love this thing, I have a bunch of these. And uh, remember when I was telling you we're gonna need adhesive tape? That adhesive tape is double sided. It goes on the bottom of this and the other end goes on the bottom of our Raspberry Pi right here. So it makes a nice seal and it transfers heat well. This is the res pump combo we're gonna use this is from thermal take I don't remember the exact model but I'll leave it in the description it's an awesome rest pump combo I used it in a lot of my builds including the water-cooled Xbox one s build and the Raspberry Pi of choice we're gonna use the brand new Raspberry Pi 3 model B plus All right so this is the Pico power supply I love this power supply I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description I link I'm also gonna leave a link to everything else in the description but this power supply is amazing I use it in a lot of my build it allows me to power all, all like the water cooling stuff plus the Raspberry Pi as well all right guys so that's all the parts we're gonna use let's get started with the build all right guys so what I did is I took everything out of the package right so I also cut all the tubing the way that I need it I placed everything where it should go and I fast forward for this actual build All right guys, so we're back. We're gonna run the loop. We have the Pico power supply connected to the loop. We have the power switch here. Again, all the links to all this stuff are gonna be in the description. Now, all I have to do is hit the button. Bam, the light's on, the pump is running. And I could feel it moving around in there. Pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do basically is, this video, we just, we just put it together 
we showed you it running. The next video, we're gonna do some benchmarking. We're gonna benchmark the Raspberry Pi 4 with cooling and without cooling. So if, stay tuned for that. If you guys wanna see the benchmarks, it'll be in the next video. So that's pretty much it for this part.